Hello, Cancer friend. This is Christelle Martinet with another weekly reading starting March 7th. March 7th is the week um, that kicks off the eclipse seasons, season with the 8th and the 9th, having this first of a series of eclipses, and it uh, ushers in a period of um, important changes. You've been hearing this, and I've been saying it as well, and other readers as well. Um, this is, I'm here with my um, Alexander Egorov Tarot Golden Edition. It's one of my favorite decks. It's been pre-shuffled. I'll shuffle again. I have the Vida Sibila here, and I have a bag of Tiger's Eyes runes, which complement these, this particular deck. Let's see what's in store for you, Cancer. It starts, um, the entrance card is the Nine of Wands, and the exit card is the Nine of Swords. There is both a lot of work and a lot of fear. Now, what is in between this? We have the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Fool, which in this spread is a fool with folly, denoted by folly, the Seven of Cups, two sevens, sorry, the Seven of Wands, two sevens, the Four of Coins, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Coins. We have all of the elements here, all of the four elements, plus this major arcana, which is the Fool. And it's as if you're a bit disorientated this week. You see somewhat, you're, you know, you don't see any F, you, you don't see any prizes, any rewards for your efforts. And um, you've been working hard. And this is what, you know, you just can't understand. Why? Why me? Why am I having such difficulty? Am I supposed to be suffering a bit? What's going on? Why, you know, many of you may have issues that have uh, made you, you know, set you into a standstill, okay? You, you uh, wanted to move forward some projects and they are not going forward. This is one example that I, I'm reading, but there are many others. It also has to do with people who want to um, buy homes, get together with their loved ones, apartments, renting, and uh, start a family. You want to make plans, but it's been a, a month, you know, just this past couple, these past couple of weeks, almost a month, that you just see that things are not going your way. I'm going to take the Vita Sibila and Visana on a number of these cards. Um, aside from the first and the last, I'm going to start with the focus card, the Seven of Wands. And what I get here is the house on fire, the disgrazia, which is a tower type situation. This omaggio di pietre preziose, which is um, our gifts, but they're gifts that are for open for all to see. You see, this is a coffer. This is a jewelry box that's open, and plus, it's near the window. Anybody can come in and get that. You don't feel safe. And the bambino, the beginning. So you feel as if this is a beginning of either bad luck. You think, oh my God, somebody's sending me some kind of a hoax or curse or curse. Let me go, you know, let me go to the, my nearest, you know, um, uh, uh, healer to, to help me get rid of these things. You're starting to think that you have a little cloud that's raining on you day in and day out. And so this is the way you feel. And you are slaying dragons because of that. You're, because, you know, and, and slaying dragons, I'm saying that as a um, metaphor for the fact that you're slaying things, you're shooting out at things, you're grasping at straws. There's nothing there that you concretely can say, the reason is this, this is the fault, this is why. Um, I'm going to the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is the Vecchia Signora, the old lady, the friend, and la riunione, the meeting. Now, um, it seems that what's 
uppermost in your mind. You're very, you're trying very hard in one respect, the seven of cups, to try to contact, come into contact with people who you could see. You f feel more than, more so than in weeks past, the urge to meet up with friends, the urge to go dancing, the urge to go out, to socialize, because the situation mentally, you're feeling that you are blocked. Now, let me see if um, I'm going to take these cards. These two have been pre-shuffled on the um, Fool card. Okay. Alegria, happiness with family and friends, conversation, and the male lover. Again, it's a repeat. Um, um, it's a, a sort of a repeating what I just said. Um, you're ready to just, you know, in any direction, start going out, having a good time, uh, being a flirt. You know, you really do want that uh, returned affection. You you think that now is my time. It should be coming around my way. You know, I am look, I'm catching that ring. It's going. Uh, the merry-go-round's going again. I want to catch that ring. Right. So you're ready for something. You're ready for gra to grasp something. I'm looking at the four of coins here now. Okay, I get happiness in the heart, alegria, allegrezza al cuore, uh, the priest, sacerdote, and sospiri. Now, this is at the four of uh, on the four of coins. Um, in this deck, it is um, the meaning of these coins is um, that you're holding on too much, and this these cards are counseling you to finally, sh you know, bring them out. Be more generous. Be sharing. Open yourself more. It's not enough just to pick up the phone. And, you know, you haven't been talking to these people for a while. They may not be ready. You need to cultivate a little bit more. Cultivate these friendships a little bit more. Be more open. Share both the good and the bad. Let other people know about what's happening to you. All right. I'm going to go down to this lovely Ace of Coins. I mean, with all these cards, the Ace of Coins does stick out. And the Ace of Coins brings up Artista, which is the Letterato, the person thinking, an intelligent person thinking. There's the Pensiero, so they're both a lot of contemplation and jealousy. Now, there is, you know, this Ace of Coins. As I said in another reading, when I have positive cards and the let us say, in some way, signal out something, a bit of negativity there, like this jealousy card. It's not necessarily jealousy, but it is um, a, 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 a warning there. This, this Ace of Pentacles is not um, a beginning of a money-making deal. No, this is the, your spirituality. What these cards are telling me is that you need, that is the area where you need work. What does spirituality mean for you? Start asking this question to yourself. How can I improve my sense of spirituality? How can I um, appreciate even these times with this type of energy? Where is the lesson? Okay, it's they're telling you that don't look without and give responsibility elsewhere, but take the responsibility, assume the responsibility, and look within. I'm going to go to the, the rooms to see what they have to say. Hmm, okay. All right, now, I'm very interesting runes. There are five out. There's one here, two, and three, four, five. Um, first is this uh, Bjork Berkana, which talks about a new beginning, like the um, fool. It's on its back, and it's looking forward, and it's looking right at Wunyo, beautiful, one of the be most beautiful runes that speaks of joy, joy. But the joy is on you know, it, or, there are two conversations here. One is the beginning of joy. On the side, we have Fehu, 
Merkstave, which is saying that it's not yet time to reap the benefits, to reap and harvest. It's not yet time. Why not? Because you need, this is Aiza, to distinguish yourself in terms of your spirituality, in terms of your sense of spirituality and what um, life, life's meaning in terms, spiritually speaking, is for you. So they're really telling me you, you to, um, telling me to tell you to go within and get that sense of worth. Take on the responsibility for what is going on in your life. And don't go in, in different directions. Cultivate in order for you then to be able to harvest And let's look within. And understand what spirituality is for us. Cancer, I hope this was of help for you for the week of March um, 7th. Namaste until we see each other again. Bye-bye, Cancer.